Hello everyone and happy Sunday. Don't you worry, don't touch a thing cause Scott has another movie to review. Not even Disney Plus can stop me. <laughs> Alright, today the movie that I will be reviewing is none other than one of the best James Bond films of the 2010s, Skyfall. The movie starts out with James Bond being shot in action. Um, after a very cool opening segment with Adele singing the the theme of the movie, we see James Bond living it up in um, uh, on an island, making love with beautiful women, drinking, until he is um, pulled back into action when he finds that MI6, uh, his uh, spy headquarters, has been blown up. So he goes, goes back to he help, and he also learns that um, someone from his boss M's pl uh, pl um, past is trying to get revenge. Um, with help from the always um, funny Miss Money Penny and a brand new uh, tech whiz um, Nate, uh, Q, he goes off to different locations to try and stop this villain. Um, this has a lot of great fight scenes. It's and it's in I, in my opinion one of Daniel Craig's best performances. Dame Judi Dench, um, she plays a lot of old ladies and she does a great job as M. And um, I really like one of my favorite parts of this film. Spoiler alert is uh, when they they're trying to hide, um, so they have to get rid of their car. And James Bond says we need to. Uh, pick a pick a car that that's less conspicuous. So he uh, takes M to his old garage and brings out the one and only Aston Martin DB5 from the Gold Goldfinger. You know, with the machine guns and the ejector seat. I really like that scene. Um, also, fun fact: Did you know that when they're setting up the traps, the director of the film, Sam Mendes, who uh, also directed in 1917 this year. Um, he um, uh, said that he got a lot of inspiration from Home Alone when it came to setting up traps for bad bad guys. So that that's really funny. Yeah, well, um, in conclusion, got to drink a martini, shake a not stirred, and watch some Bond. James Bond. Also, if you want to hear my two cents about this whole whole um, James uh, new James Bond mo mo movie, um, let's just say. To me, James Bond will always be a male. He, uh, not not a woman, just a male, and that's who 007 is to me—a strong male character. And that's that's all I gotta say about that before I get into any trouble. Well, see you next su Sunday, folks, and I hope you have a great week. Bye. -bye.